ready for day four. Day four, okay. Oh my God, has this been the longest week ever? It's jam packed. Where are you guys? I'm a minute late. I'm a minute late. Am I in the right place? <laughs> I'm like, where is everybody? <laughs> All right, Margarita's on. Seven people are on, Who are, who's on? Say hi, let me get the... Okay, Heidi, Laura, Elizabeth. Yes, let's do it. Bray, hi. How is everybody? I'm so excited you guys are here. Heidi, you are on it. Are you guys all signed up? Kim, Kim. Kim! Ah! It's Kim, everybody! She's finally made it! She's from Hawaii. Has anybody been to Hawaii? I've been to Hawaii. Um, Kim is working with me in another program, and she's, like, killing it. She's doing so great. So, all right. Who's ready? Who is ready? Okay, I'm so excited. In fact, in fact, are you guys signed up for notifications? If you go to my personal page, which is where I do other lives, uh, you can actually select to be notified when I come on. So make sure you guys are notified when I come on because then you can fight Heidi for number one. She's on, this is the second time she's on first, okay? So it's a competition now. And, and, did anybody see any posts in, in the group? In the group? Did anybody see anything to celebrate? Right? Somebody got engaged. Is she on? Is she on? Somebody got engaged this week. Such a big week. Wow. Okay, I don't think Holly's on. Holly Hall. Yes. 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 We spend so much time thinking that it can't happen for us. I spent 20 years thinking that. Right? I spent 20 years thinking that it can't happen for me, that I was some kind of special whatever, like I was so special that it wasn't gonna happen, right? Well, let me tell you, you guys are not that special. All you have to do, all you have to do is do what I teach. <laughs> all you have to do is all the things that I teach, right? Uh, but it's not just in this, you know, this week's obviously shifted a lot of things for people, right? You guys are doing so good. You guys are coming in with all this energy, which is, yes, congratulations to her. Like, it's changing what you're going to get, right? Your energy is changing your future outcome. It's changing your destiny, right? It's making these things possible for you because it's your energy that's been keeping you from what you want. It's this, you know how you struggle with the belief, right? You struggle to stay high vibe. You struggle to keep that belief, right? It's that struggle, like if you can just focus your mind and believe 100% all the time, right? Which is the whole problem, you can't, right? That's why we get coaching. That's why we come to these challenges. That's why we make sure we're surrounded by supportive men and women, right? <gasps> Isabel, hi. Right, it's the uncertainty. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you a little secret, okay? Certainty comes from inside of you. You create your certainty. You create your destiny. 
So this feeling of certainty that you are looking for is going to come from inside of you. But we know it's not easy. We know it's not easy. I was very fortunate when I started coaching. I signed up with this coach who was was very into following your soul, following with what feels good, you know, creating your business from your heart and your soul. Which I was so blessed because she not only taught me that in my business, which is why I'm like so happy to be doing the work that I do because it's not burning me out. I love it. I love the work that I do. I love my clients. Um, right? But it's also helped me in my life, right? Hi, Rachel. Once you learn to live from your soul, it will help you in your business. It will help you manifest your soulmate. It will help you keep your soulmate. It will help you in all these things. See, you find your soulmate by following your soul, right? Now, I know, I know that a lot of you have been looking for your soulmate. You've been doing the personal growth work. You probably signed up for an other programs that can help you figure out dating and da da da. Who here has done other work to try to figure out the dating and the whole relationship thing? So put a one in the comments if you have done other work to try to figure out dating, relationships, blah, 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 all the things, right? Put a one in the comments if you have done other work for personal growth, other courses, research, books, Phil, <laughs> right? We've done other work, right? Well, when I teach you, when I teach you, I teach you from soul. When I teach you from soul, that teaches you how to manifest your soulmate, right? But it teaches you only therapy. I have some problems with therapy. Like I, I like keep going to therapy, but I, I think that it's, it's not complete is what I think. And it can be exhausting. Yes. So you've done NLP. Yes. I, I'm, uh, yeah, I have my NLP license or cert or whatever you call it. No, no courses. I know what I need. I just need extra push to listen to my soul. I can't stay. I've done, I can't say I've done other work. Phil, Phil does not want a soulmate. <laughs> Phil wants to be single. Um, Phil has been one of my um, good faith uh, Facebook followers for three years now. He's seen me go through all the struggle, right? Phil, you've been around. You've, you've seen all, <laughs> all the things. You see my bodybuilding competition. You see me heal myself. You see me, uh, I think you were even there when my ex and I broke up, right? You've been there for three years. Punani, hi, right? So you, f you find your soulmate by following your soul, right? And it's really like this abstract, right? I think it's great that other finds their soulmates. I wish everyone well. Thank you, Phil. Fine, living, living your soul-led life is kind of like saying self-love, self-care. Like, what does that really mean? What does that really look like in your day-to-day -day life? Because we're all exhausted. If we know what self-love is and self-care is and following soul, we definitely should not be exhausted. Yes, I remember the bodybuilding comps, X, other things, a great journey. Thank you, Phil. <laughs> we should not be exhausted. If you are following soul, if you are in your feminine, if you are, if you're, if you're doing self-care, if you're doing self-love, right? Where is everybody? How come there's only 14? 
<laughs> There's usually 20. Um, if you're doing all these things, you should not be exhausted. So why are we still exhausted? Because here's the thing, you know what to do, you don't know how to apply it, right? You know what to do, you don't know how to apply it. So all, everyone who put one in the comments, you're still here, you're still struggling, you're still looking because nobody has really taught you how you can apply it, right? What does it mean when you wake up and you don't get that text or you do get a text? What do you say then? <laughs> like what, <laughs> that might be worse. You do get a text from him, slackers, LOL, life happens. I was in a store, left my stuff and hustled home. <laughs> oh, oh. Awesome. Yes, they are slackers. <laughs> Thank you, Elizabeth. <laughs> right? So you've been doing the work. You've done the research, but really, you know all the things. You have all the right answers. You guys, you guys are doing, you know how to write out homework. You know all the right answers. You all get A's. But when it comes to applying this stuff, this stuff to your life, you're like, I don't know what to do. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's, because you actually need to be taught how to apply this stuff to your life, right? Which is why this week isn't enough. This is why I keep saying like, um, let, let's keep working. Well, that's why I, I'm offering the boot camp, right? Because I know that this is just the surface, right? This is what you've already, this is kind of like where you've already gone. You, you've got the knowledge. You're taking copious notes. Who was the copious notes taker on day one, right? You're taking copious notes. Hi, Sinisa. Right? You're taking copious notes, but how do you apply all this to your day-to-day -day life? That's why we are here for the extra push or step in the right direction. Yes. Right? So this is what I do in my courses. This is what I do. Oh, Lindsay Ann, copious note taker. Everyone, if you need notes, Lindsay Ann has them. <laughs> right? So this is what I do with my clients. My clients if they need something, well, not in my courses. In my courses, you go, you, well, if you need something in my courses, you go and you post in the group, just like you guys have been doing, like asking for support, right? And I support you, right? My private clients, they will message me and I will support them there, right? And I will give them like what, how to apply. Like they'll, they'll, they'll say to me, I know the answer is self-love, but how do I, do that in this situation like who has been there where you're just like I know what the answer is and you're going down your self-love list and you're like I'm exhausted <laughs> right we've already talked about this like I think two days ago where we we're doing all these things where where it's just exhausting ourselves right so we need to really know Hey, Natalie, all the time, yes. Happy Thursday. We're doing all these things, but how do you really follow soul? Because if you're really following your soul, if you're really in your feminine, if you're really doing these things, you will not be exhausted. You, you, you won't. I mean, there's, there's like days you might, like PMS, like, <laughs> like who's not exhausted then? But I mean, I'm talking about, like you guys are exhausted. I know, cause I've been there. I've been there where I was just like, I can't, I can't do today. I can't do this week. Like let's skip this because it gets tiring. It gets tiring to not know how, like you have all this knowledge. We're taught to learn all these things and go collect all the knowledge. And I'm so against that. I, what, I'm, what I'm for 
It's telling you exactly what you need, exactly how to apply it, so you can do the thing and then go have fun, <laughs> right? That's what I'm about. And so I cut to the chase. That's why I'm offering you the, the boot camp because like that's gonna solve so many things for you. That's gonna flip the switch in your life, right? And in the boot camp, it's, it's gonna be a little bit different, great, the trainings are there and there's some Q and A's, uh, but I'm gonna come in and actually coach you for an hour where you get to talk to me, <laughs> ask me questions, and I will coach you on that hour. I'm not exhausted, just a little spastic when it comes to love. Haven't gotten that down yet. It's where whatever doubts I have left in life have shifted and I want it gone. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, absolutely. Um, so here's the thing with following your soul. The little things make up the big things. So a lot of times people will come to me because I help, I coach people in all areas. Is that obvious? Is that obvious? Like I do, I do the relationship stuff. I help people with their business. Uh, I help people with their health a little bit. Um, so people will come to me and they're like, Nicole, I don't know what my purpose is. I don't know what my purpose is. And we go all the way back down and we start with the little things because the little things make up the big things. So it goes back to them following soul right and I still feel like as much as I try to explain it it's very abstract right um, but it goes down to them following soul and once I teach them how to follow soul in their life and what that looks like for them then they realize that they've not they not only know they know their purpose they've always known their purpose they just didn't know they knew their purpose. It's like I've always known what my purpose was, but I didn't, like if you asked me, if you paid me $10,000 in my 20s, I would be like, I still don't know what my purpose is, right? So maybe you're like that. Um, but I had to, right, I had to have somebody pull that out of me, dig that out of me, teach me to follow soul, right? And so that's what I do with my clients now is I help them follow soul. I dig out the information, whatever, like, is this your soulmate? Let's really figure this out because some of you are on here and some of you are still like, well, I'm going to try it. This might be my soulmate. I don't really know, right? But when I get to be able to work with you personally, right either private or in a group um, like on the private calls this is why it's so good like I'm doing the private calls because this will really help you we can dig into what is actually aligned for you right um, so it starts with the little things following soul starts with the little things I know you guys were asking the other day how do you follow soul right so it starts with the little things the little things make up the big things Here's the thing, all your desires were given to you for a reason. You desire to be with your soulmate. That desire comes from your soul. Your soul wants to give that to you, right? Your soul wants to give you your desires, but you have to be saying yes to your soul because your soul will lead you to your soulmate. Is this making sense? Is this making sense? Who desires, I know this is a crazy question, who desires to be with their soulmate? Who wants to be with your soulmate? Let me know, let me know. Because this desire, yes, this desire comes from your soul, right? So back in the day when I was a software engineer right Heidi yes Lindsay yes Laura yes 
Elizabeth, yes. Duh. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. So back in the day when I was a software engineer, right, I was not following soul. Well, if you're not following soul in your business, right, then it's going to be hard to find your soulmate, right? Because you're going against your soul. Now, here's what it looks like, right? Here's what it looks like. It, it looks like you are in the wrong career, right? If you, you feel you know you're in the wrong career. Yep, Priscilla, Hunani, right? You know you're in the wrong career. You know you're hustling. You know, you're trying to cl climb that ladder. Um, you're dating all the men and getting all the bad men. Um, you're going like through health issues. <laughs> so Phil used to be a software engineer, and um, I cured him of that <laughs> disease. <laughs> um, so this is what it feels like. It feels like anxiety. Oh, oh. This is it. This is it. Who here? Who here has anxiety? Let me know. Let me know if you have anxiety. If you have anxiety, anxiety is a message from your soul that something is amiss. That something is amiss. It usually means, I do, it usually means you're going against your soul. Heidi does. Yes. So if you want a soul led life, you've got to listen to anxiety. Anxiety is not bad guys, right? Anxiety is not bad. Anxiety is misunderstood. Your drink is, yes, yes. Anxiety is a message from your soul that you need to shift something. Right? I can read this with my clients. When we do our calls, when you guys sign up, we do our private calls. I used to have it bad, but I reduced a lot since I changed careers and do what I love to do. Exactly, Priscilla. Exactly. Right? So I can read your anxiety. I can read why, because it's sending you a message. And what we do is we try to push it down because we don't, we're like, that feels bad and I don't like it. And usually doctors tell you to take pills and that there's something wrong with you. There's nothing wrong with you. There's nothing wrong with you. <laughs> Except maybe you're not supposed to be a software engineer. <laughs> I knew that, right? But here's the thing. We think we have to do these things to make money or to get a man or to get into a relationship or, you know, and we feel forced, right? That's not how life is supposed to work. Manifesting is way different. You're supposed, you have desires and it's not, okay, let me just be clear. It's not for brownies and ice cream, okay? That's not the kind of desires that I'm talking about. I'm talking about the soul-led desires. I do love brownies. I do love brownies. I'm talking about the soul-led desires, right? The soulmate. Yes, your soul will always tell you the truth. I'm talking about the soul-led desires, right? So it's not going to like tell you to do something that's going to be hurtful to you, right? So you have to learn to read these things. It's, it's easy, but it's not easy when you don't know how, right? Just like driving a car, right? Worked for a friend. I worked for a friend and recently had to quit and ended that friendship for exactly what you're talking about. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah, yeah. So it's, anxiety is giving you a message that you probably aren't following your soul, right? And, and maybe you were like me or are like me where I was like, or, or like I was, where I was like, well, I want to get a divorce. <laughs> I want to be on my own and I want to make lots of money. <laughs> so I'm going to be a software engineer because that's logical. So we force ourselves to logically figure out our lives 
And that's not how it's supposed to be. Like, there's a lot more that we can do than just like forcing ourselves to do things that we don't want to do, right? It's like selling our soul. Hi, Jess. How are you? Somebody called you a slacker. <laughs> I'm just kidding. They called everybody who's late a slacker. <laughs> right? So, what you need to know is how to apply these things. I don't want you to waste a week here. Like, this is definitely a, not a waste. It's like amazing time. Like, I love you guys. <laughs> like, I have grown so close to each and every one of you. Um, but what I don't want is you to get all the information and then be the same as you were on Monday. Right? I don't, I don't want you to be stuck. I really don't want you to be stuck right so your desires are given to you for a reason right you're supposed to get them you're supposed to get your desires hi Michelle so you're supposed to get your desires and you are supposed to follow your soul so <clears throat> here's the thing here's the thing sometimes sometimes you do desire a brownie. I mean, not the whole thing, but one, <laughs> one. It's very hard to say yes to, to like say no to more than one, but you know, whatever. Sometimes you desire a brownie. Sometimes you desire to go out for a walk. Sometimes you desire, um, I don't know, to play the guitar, right? Whatever you, whatever your hobby is. Sometimes you desire these things, right? And when you say, okay, I need to take a break, I need to rest, I would need to, maybe, oh, maybe you need to go on vacation for the weekend, right? And when you have this desire to go on vacation for a weekend and break away from work, right? We've all been there where we're like, I so need a vacation. <laughs> and you say no to that desire. You are saying no to all your desires. Okay, let me, let me, let me say that again. Let's say you're a business owner, right? Let's say you're a business owner, right? To dance, yes. Let's go dancing, Margarita. Like, what kind of dancing? I love salsa. Um, <clears throat> let's say you're a business owner, right? Is there any biz business owners on here? Do you own a business? Let me know, let me know, I'm curious. Let's say you're a business owner and you're working so much and you're trying to, I don't know, make, make $10,000, right? Cosmic brownie, my weakness. I don't even know what that is. You're gonna have to text me about that later. You, Laura, you own a business, me too. Margarita does. Oh, wait, do you own a business and salsa or just salsa? <clears throat> I kind of figured you would like salsa. So you're a business owner. Your desire is to make $10,000. Phil, I don't even know what that one, one is for. That was like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> you're a business owner. Your desire is to make $10,000. So you have a desire in you to make $10,000. You also have, Elizabeth, freelance on the side. You also have a desire Okay, I have a solo law practice. I push myself not to make money, but to save my clients from prison. You might, can I, can I coach you real quick? You might have a money block. Uh, you might, I mean, like it's, it's very nice of you, but you might have a money block. Um, so you have a desire to make $10,000. You have a desire to go on vacation but you keep putting that vacation off. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, <laughs> cool. No, sometimes I ask for numbers like one and two and three. And so I was like, that was like a long time ago. I make money, I just don't consider it a top, top priority. Okay. Still, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, okay, so anyway, that's a whole nother topic. We can do that on a private call if, if, if that happens. Okay. <clears throat> So your desire is to make $10,000. Your desire is also to go on vacation. 
but you say, I'm not going to go on vacation because I need to make $10,000. So you say no to this desire to go to vacation on vacation, right? So when you say no to one desire, you say no to other desires. So if you say no to the vacation, you're saying no to the $10,000. Is this making sense? Because all of these are coming from your soul. Well, it would be very confusing for me, Margarita. It would be very confusing if one's like, how do I read that through? Like if I go back through. Um, so this is making sense. If you say, okay, Margarita, Margarita's on board. Anybody else? Priscilla, yes. <clears throat> so one, we have to learn to listen to our soul. That's a whole art. Right? It's not hard, but you, you gotta learn it. You gotta figure this out because <clears throat> your soul is gonna tell you what you need to do to make money, to have the best life, to manifest your soulmate, all the things, right? So when we say no to one desire, we say no to all of them. So that is also reflected back to you. So if you're saying no, to your soul's desire, and then you're also saying no to your soulmate, right? And you're probably going to hear a no from him her, or her, right? Because I know Antonio watches the replays, <laughs> and I know Phil's on here, right? So <clears throat> we, if we don't want that reflected back, how do you pray? prioritize desires <clears throat> it's it's an art in li listening to your soul right wow so we have to say yes to all of our desires yes yes uh, that was me for 15 years now I just go I did a month in Europe three years ago and did 28 day cruise through the Mediterranean we should be friends who is this <laughs> Elizabeth we should be friends <laughs> Uh, good question because we can't have everything. Um, your soul knows how to sort these things. Makes complete sense. It's listening to your soul and knowing your soul, knowing it's your soul talking. Yes. Since then, my life has become more balanced and good things started happening. Yes, because you're listening to your soul. Thank you. Exactly. Everybody listen to that. <laughs> Right, so when you start listening to your soul on the little things, right, this little weekend vacation, um, you know, a brownie here and there. I really love brownies, obviously, right? Um, and taking care of yourself in this, like, soul-led way. Um, prioritizing, that gets a little bit, that gets a little bit crazy. That um, that could that I mean, you might need some guidance through that. Let's see. okay, okay. Where are we going? Okay. So manifesting, you must follow your soul. It's it's soul led. So I used to do everything by force, by brute force, right? I was like very logical. Tell me how to make money in my business. Give me a plan. I'm going to do it, and then I'm going to make money. No, that's not actually. Like, that doesn't work, right? It does, but it also doesn't. There's, like, so many things that, that go on there. Um, and I would strategize how to, how I could be with my now future husband and, like, logically think about all the reason why it's not working and go through this and da 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 and like try to like figure it out and almost like control the situation which wasn't why it wasn't working right um and why now i realize i can go back and i can say oh there was actually eight steps that i did to manifest my future husband and now i can like break it down and see where you are with each of the steps and what you need to change to manifest exactly what you want, right? Um, so your homework tonight, 
is going to be to list out all the things that you are saying, all the desires you are saying no to, right? Things you're like saying no to. Um, <clears throat> one of the things, because I love talking about money, and I like I like if I was not talking about relationships, I would be talking about business and doing a business and money um, challenge right now. <laughs> like it's my second favorite thing, right? <clears throat> so one of the things, what was I gonna say? Oh, so one of the things is usually we logic out why we can't do the thing, right? Why we can't follow our soul, okay? Example, I couldn't, I had to be a software engineer because I had to make a certain amount of money. Homework, yes. Copious notes. I had to make a certain amount of money. So we do a lot of logicking out why we can't have what we want, right? So one of the big things is people will say, I can't afford it. I can't afford it. And I'm like, don't say that to me, <laughs> right? And that's a huge money block. And I'm just gonna go ahead and help you through that just a little bit, right? And obviously, if you can't afford it, you can't afford it, right? But let's stop saying that, right? Let's stop saying that and um, change it to something positive because this is, this is another secret about manifesting. What you say comes back to you, meaning you are creating your reality with your words. If you say something, I can't afford it, your subconscious will make sure that you cannot afford it, okay? So watch your language. I mean, you could say all the swear words you want, but do not say you cannot afford it. Start changing that language, right? And I'll teach all of this to you in the, uh, the boot camp, right? This is the how my clients are, like, my client is, my, oh, my clients are, are doing so good. I really need to do a, a money business something challenge. Um, if you guys want some kind of like money challenge or some kind of training on that, and if you own a business, just PM me after this because I'm curious to know um, like where you guys are at with money and what you guys kind of need. Uh, and I feel it coming. I feel it coming. I feel it coming. Um, but we're gonna get your soulmates, get you get everybody rings, get you all locked in <laughs> and married before this uh, co coronavirus is over. Okay, so your homework is to list out your desires that you're saying no to. Are you guys having fun? You guys are super quiet this time. Are you guys having fun? Let me see in the chat if you're having fun. Okay, nobody's having fun. Okay, 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 Heidi's having fun. Collective wedding ceremony here, yes. Guys, I have been invited to so many weddings. <laughs> Lots of fun, good, 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 okay. Yes, okay. I had a rough day, Oh. Well, hopefully this will turn it, turn it around for you. Okay, Bray, thank you. Yeah, Phil, business and money, let's bust those money blocks, yes. Okay, okay. So, all right, how does it get to be better than this? When you ask the universe this, it will always show you, yes. Oh yeah, yeah, yes. Um, and yeah, and that, Tiana, and that implies that you have so much gratitude for where you're at. Yes, I love you guys. you guys. You guys are amazing. You guys are so amazing, having so much fun. Kim, I can't believe you're just now joining us. Kim and I, we've been talking this week, or at the beginning of the week, and she, 
she's in Hawaii. And I was like, I think you're six hours difference. I think, I think we decided, and we thought she was six hours ahead of me. She's actually six hours behind me. So she could have been watching this whole week. <laughs> We're, I'm so bad with time zones. Okay. Okay. So we're going to commit, everybody ready for the commitment? We're going to commit to say yes to our desires. I will say yes to my desires. I will be soul aligned, right? Again, we're going to talk about this on the private call when you guys sign up for the boot camp. Um, I'm going to help you out with that here because this is really personal. This is like, um, this is like trying on bras. Okay. I need, I need you one-on-one -on -one for this stuff, right? We can go in, we can have huge shifts on these calls, but I'm really going to need one-on-one -on -one time with you because everybody's different, right? I can tell you the general, yeah, I will say yes to all my desires. Yes. Right. I can tell you the general thing, but on here, but it's like, I got to sit with you. Okay, Heidi, awesome. I would love to say yes to my desires. Yes, yes, yes. So start calling this in. Guys, I, I gotta tell you, I love, I love this boot camp. I love this boot camp. I wish, I, I know that some of you have time restrictions. I know you have some money things that are coming up. <laughs> But I really wish that I could just go through this boot camp with each and every one of you. I, like, that is my heart's desire. You guys are so amazing and you guys are so hungry for it. I'm just like, I want you, but I'm trusting that the right people will be in it. And I'm trusting that when it's your time, that if it's not your time right now, yes, then I know that you're gonna come in at a later point because this is gonna be so amazing for you. I've been saying yes and I am feeling the change. Yes, good, good, yes. Okay, mindset. All my desires are valid, right? All my desires are valid. Now I want you to take this mindset piece and I want you to go back into into a relationship, right? This is huge, guys. See how it all ties in? Everything that I'm teaching ties in, right? And I, and if we were talking about money on this, I could take it there too. But all my desires are valid. How many times have you said in a relationship, and I wanna show hands, how many times have you said, I don't want that much? I'm not asking for that much. How many times have you been frustrated crying in a relationship saying like, why can't he, why can't she, I'm not asking for that much. I don't want that much. Lindsay, yeah. All your desires are valid, Priscilla, yes. Yes, like I, I remember being married and be like so frustrated like you can see it in my eyes. My eyes is just like, you can tell, right? I was just like, I don't, I'm not asking for that much. I just want like, why, why isn't this happening? It's not like I'm asking for a lot. Yes. No more. We're, we're going to ask for the world. <laughs> we're asking for the world because that's what our heart wants. I, I'm not, when I have said I'm not asking for that much, it feels like a lie. I do want a lot. I want it all. You do. Exactly. Exactly. Because your soul wants everything. But here's, we get to, uh, I'm very aware of the self-talk. I fought to say that verbally. Um, yeah, you, you, you do want so much, right? But here's, we think that we can't have it all, right? Um, and people, and uh, People know me as the have it all coach. I don't know if you know this yet. People know me as the have it all coach, right? And um, because I ha have it all, <laughs> like I'm living the life, right? So I don't know if you know this. What, what was I saying? Where, are they, where am I going? Okay, 
Yeah, um, so we think we can't have it all. We think that there's compromise in relationship. And well, there's compromise in a relationship. You, you see where it gets to be where you're compromising and you get nothing, right? We never want that to happen, right? We never want that to happen. So our soul wants all the things. Our soul does want all the things, but we think logically, right? We go into our logical mind and we think, well, obviously I can't have it all because of this, 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 right? And then we think, well, I'm not asking for, and then you, we start asking for smaller pieces and little and like we getting less and less and less and less and less. And then we're starving to death, right? And then we start saying, I'm not asking for that much. Why can't he, she, they, why can't this be a thing? I'm telling you, it can. It's literally, the, the reason is in my boot camp. It's like literally, that's what I'm teaching you in the boot camp. How you can have it all. Like you should never say that again. You should never be saying that. If you feel that, if you think that this boot camp is for you, because you need to be in the place where you are getting it all, right? You deserve that. You deserve that. Um, and I, I thought I heard something weird. <laughs> like, what is that? Um, no basil. <laughs> so we have to change our subconscious to think we want it all and think we have it all. <sighs> yes. But we come from this mentality, right? We come from this man mentality where in our past has sh proven that we can't have it all, right? And we come from this logical mindset. Where's Basil? She's not cleaning herself on this. <laughs> we talked about that. We had a conversation. <laughs> It's like, that's a little inappropriate. I'm going to have to rate, rate my Facebook Lives X. <laughs> little awkward right so we've come from this logical mind mindset and we don't really know how to how to manifest which means we end up frustrated right I I but it's more yes but it's more than that it is more than that so I end up frustrated I would always get all the things but it was so exhausting like built like winning my competition and um, all those things right yeah she does she she is over there what are you doing um, how did you know um, so it gets to be where I mean you can like push to get all Jessica where have you been where have you been? We've been missing you. This is a good Facebook Live. You've gonna, you're gonna have to go back and watch. Um, we don't want to be frustrated. We don't want to be frustrated. We don't want to be burning ourselves out. We don't want to be running ourselves down. Like this is the only way that has really worked for me, right? This is the only thing that has made it easy because we want all the things. We want all the things. This is how. Like, this is how you can get all the things without burning yourself out, right? I spent 20 years trying to figure out my relationship stuff. I spent 20 years trying to figure out my business stuff, right? This is not my first business. I spent four years in chronic pain, right? And this has just been, like... This has just been the thing that has changed everything for me. Learning to manifest. Learning to manifest. And I had a friend come over and she spent 10 days with me and she's like, wow, everything about you is, is manifesting. Like, you're all, this. you live this stuff. You live manifesting. And I'm like, I know because I lived without it for 40 years, right? And now I know how to manifest. I'm like, I just want everyone to know how to manifest. And if I could get that message out to the world, like the lives that would be changed. So, how many, 
how many years have you studied manifesting? I want to hear how many years have you studied manifesting? How many years have you studied manifesting? Do you guys even cuz I want to I want to really get a feel on where you are with manifesting and if you're like more into like four days Lindsay Ann God this is oh this is gonna change your life right so I've studied manifesting right and that's how I knew never studied just always knew so I've never studied right two years ago Margarita eight months Isabel so many my first book with my first paycheck as teen was on manifesting just started so I, I, I've studied manif. Well, I've learned a lot about manifesting. I've never really studied it. Started 11 years old. I just got lost for years. I've been off and on for two, three years, and this last year really into it. So I knew enough about manifesting to know what I was doing last summer without knowing. Uh, I feel like forever without knowing lol when I was little I wished for freckles and as adult I finally got freckles good job uh, crystal hi we're talking about manifesting so I heard about manifesting I heard a lot of but I never really studied it until I guess two years ago several years I really got into it and I did my yoga teacher training several years ago. I started in 2017. And so right before I healed myself, I started like recalling all these things that I knew. It was like my soul was like, hey, you heard this and you know this. And I was, I was just like, wait a second, wait a second. And then all the things that I had heard in my past that my soul had been like leading me to listen to just came in and I just realized I had this epiphany that I could collapse time and space. I knew that there was a dimension where I was living with my future husband or living with my husband because it's in the future, right? <laughs> He's actually, we're actually married in the future. I was living with my husband and we were together and I knew that there was a dimension that this is happening and I knew there was a dimension where like I, I was actually experiencing and I was like I knew that there was a way to collapse time and space and I was like but how do you do that because I was just like so exhausted I was like this thing that I'm doing is not working this struggle and like control and like how do I make him da -da -da. and I was like okay how do I collapse time and space and I remember it clearly. And if you guys, if you guys saw the ad, that that the, this is why I like the Facebook ad that you guys joined from, um, with me in the green T-shirt, which is his T-shirt actually. And I'm at my dad's house, and I'm thinking about manifesting, and I'm thinking about like how shitty my life has be, been, and like even though I have all the things, I'm like I'm still struggling. And I'm thinking about collapsing time and space, and I'm like. This is a thing. This is really going to happen. And it was from that that my soul started putting together this whole teaching. On, well, I was I was in the I was in the middle of it, right? I'm learning and I'm like figuring this stuff out. My soul's like you've always known how to manifest. You've always known that this is true. And even though before I was like manifesting pfft, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Makes total sense, right? So if you guys want, I have um, a guide, an eight-step guide, free, of course. It's an eight-step guide on how to manifest, right? So I'll drop it in, in the group, okay? Who wants who wants the eight-step guide? Eight steps to manifest, right? So I'm in my dad's house, at my dad's house. 
thinking about manifesting, thinking about collapsing time and space, figuring this stuff out. Like my soul just knows. It was just like, oh, I, I think this is a thing. Lindsay Ann, you got it. Heidi, you got it. I think this is a thing. And this is what people talk about. Like your higher self knows. Okay, I'll send it. Your higher self knows. Your higher self knows that you're not supposed to be in this career and that you're supposed to be in this career. Your higher self knows that you're not supposed to be with this soul, this person, but that your soulmate here. Okay, awesome. Your higher self knows, your higher self knew that you needed to be here this week. Your higher self knows what you need to do to make $10,000. Your higher self knows what you need to do to manifest your soulmate, right? But what happens is your subconscious, your past, your fears say, oh, but what if it doesn't happen for you? What if you don't get that? What if you're so special, right, that you don't get your soulmate, right? And again, you're not that special. You all are going to get your soulmates. Side note, you can just call me Lindsay. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know why. I, okay. I don't know. I just see it and I say it. I don't know why. Okay. Lindsay. <laughs> so your soul knows. Your soul knows. Like my soul knew that I was going to be doing this work. But wait. That's what my subconscious always says. But wait. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we need to like, these are the things that we need to stop. These are the thing, all these blocks that you've been having, those are going to come back, right? That's why I'm adding continued support. That's why I'm adding the three bonus calls. That's why I'm, but so I'm like, okay, what else can I give them? What else can I do? Because I know that you guys need support. I know that this is only going to get you so far. I know I've been to... Who's been to the Tony Robbins stuff? Who's been to a Tony Robbins seminar, right? I've been, so only positive juju. So I've been to a Tony Robbins sem seminar, right? And I lo love him, love him, right? Um, but after the seminar, you, you at the seminar, you're so high, you're like, ah, oh, this is amazing. You're rocking out, right? Online. They have a seminar online? Wow. Um, you're rocking out. You're having this great time, blah, blah, blah. At the end of the weekend, you go home. And then the Monday after, I think we get home on a Sunday night, Monday. I work for the company that promoted it in Australia. And yes, really, I've been to six UPWs. So... Jennifer, hi, welcome to the challenge. Um, so you go, you go through the weekend, you watch Tony Robbins, you're so pumped up, and then you go home on Monday, and you're like, fuck, this again? <laughs> I thought things were gonna change. That's what I don't want for you, right? I don't want you to be high this week and drop on Monday or drop on Saturday, right? I don't want that to happen for you, right? Absolutely not. That's not what we're about. But it's up to you to keep going and keep figuring out what you, what is the next step you need. I believe, I believe that the next best step is to learn how to manifest, right? It's very intense, it is, it is. I believe that's, that's the best thing. And I've gone through and I've learned, I've followed a lot of people in manifesting, I've listened to a lot, I've read books, and I'm just like, it just feels like not enough. It just doesn't feel as solid as what I'm teaching, right? Of course, because I've lived it and I know how to portray and like, pass that on to you. So maybe that's my, my take. That's my take. 
because I know the power of what I teach, right? So as much as I can give to you, I'm giving that to you. So, okay, I, I uh, have to, I have another appointment. <laughs> I have to go to um, my academy and teach there. Um, but, but if you guys have any questions on the boot camp and how to make it work for you, I know there's some financial issues going on, but let's talk about it and maybe we talk about it and you message me and we just decide that you go for the, you know, for the next round. I don't know when the next round is gonna be. Maybe we decide that, maybe, but let's figure out what is best for you because I wanna make sure that you have all your questions answered, right? I don't wanna sell you. I, I want you to be in there because I know the power of what I teach, but I don't wanna sell you. I don't want you to have that pressure, but I want you to do what's right for you. That is my intent so just message me, let me know what you need, let's talk about it, and that way, if you're going for the next round, I know to offer a next round. That would be super helpful for me, right? So let me know what you need. I'm gonna post the eight steps to manifest and get your emails out in a couple hours because I have another training to do right now. <laughs> um, so, I love you guys so much. I'm gonna drop the homework in a little bit because I got like another one hour training, okay? So I will see you guys. Oh, oh, one more thing, one more thing. Can you all, can you all please invite at least three friends to the challenge next week because we're rerunning the challenge and I, would love you so much if you would just do me that at least, at least. I mean, you can invite 50 friends. You can invite 50, you can invite 50 friends, but at least three friends, that would be so great because I just wanna share the power of what we went through with more people. Okay, thank you so much. I love you guys so much. And I will see you guys tomorrow at the same time, right? 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. I'm like, what time is it? Okay, I love you guys, and I will see you soon. Three friends I got two signed up for so far. Thank you.